Clark here, and this video is going to go over the AP Computer Science A FRQ number 1A. And I thought I'd try to get it done earlier, but I had a couple mistakes in my first videos that are just too big to uh, not redo them. So the scenario is we have uh, dog walkers who are paid through a dog walking company to take dogs for one hour walks. So a company has a varying number of dogs that need to be walked during each hour. And the company is re represented by the following uh, class, Dog Walk Company. Um, we have the num available dogs. Um, that will return an int, it'll give us an int. Um, and we will, the parameter is hour, so whatever hour it is, like if it's uh, 7, like 7 a.m., it'll tell us how many dogs are available. Um, and it'll always be greater than zero, so there's at least one dog we can walk. Okay. And then we have the um, update dogs. We're not going to look at it right now because that's... Wait, no, we are going to look at that now. This is not part B yet. Um, this decreases the number of dogs available Okay, for that hour. Okay, so I guess if there's multiple dog walkers, they can um, each take a set number of dogs. And it'll update dogs. It'll update the company how many dogs are left, I guess. Yeah for that hour of being walked. Okay, so then we have the dog walker, which is the person, is um, represented by the, this class. We're going to write two methods, and what do we have? We have max dogs, and we have the company. Um, the companies they're associated with, and the max dogs they can take. So some, like if you're walking dogs, you can't take 20 dogs at once, most likely, unless there may be chihuahuas in your, your big person, maybe, I don't know. Um, but max dogs, maybe you can walk four dogs simultaneously, maybe two, depending on how big the dogs are. Um, then what do we have? We have the first, oh, the constructor. So the constructor assigns max and the company. We don't have to worry about that. Um, here it is, part A. So this walk dogs method we're going to have to probably make in part A will take at least one dog for a walk during the time specified as described, and the hour is just any hour within the day, a 24-hour day, and max dogs is at least one. Um, so that's my my private instance variable is max dogs. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So let's uh, skip B for now and look at A. So A says, write this method, the walk dogs method, which updates and returns the number of dogs. This dog walker walks during the time specified by hour, the parameter hour. Okay, so it's 24 hour day. Uh, we have a helper method. Number available dogs has been provided by the dog walk company class. So I think I forgot that last time. I forgot the company class um, stuff. I'll explain that in a bit. Um, turn the number of dogs available. Um, the dog walker will always walk as many dogs as the dog walking company has available. Okay, so if you can walk four dogs uh, and they have four dogs, um, you'll walk you'll walk those four dogs. If you have the max as four, and there's four dogs available, you'll walk those four. If your max is four, and they only have two available, they'll be walking only two. So it's like the minimum, I guess. So as long as the number of dogs is not greater than the number of dogs, the dog walker can handle, yeah. So the number available is not greater than, yep. And then we have update dogs. So once we figure out how many dogs are walking, either the max um, for the company or the max the max available at the company, the number available, or the max that the person can handle will have the set number of dogs and want to update the dogs for the company, showing how many are out. Yeah, so we don't want to have multiple people picking Lassie at the same time, I guess. So update the number of dogs and the hour. Okay, yeah. Yeah, number of dogs and the hour. That's just the, the same thing. Okay, whatever. Um, so here we go. So here's an example. The dog walking company has 10 dogs that need to be walked at a certain time, but the maximum is four. Um, update dogs will only walk four. Um, so it'll be walk dog. What? I reload. What the heck? Where did it go? Sorry about that. Push the wrong button. Yeah, so it'll return four and then. Um, if the dog one company only has three dogs and the person is still max of four, then they can walk three. Okay, so the walk dogs method should return that dogs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you must use num available dogs and update dogs appropriately to receive full credit. 
Okay, so it takes at least one dog for a walk. So let's uh, set up my int result. I'm going to take at least one dog for a walk. I think that won't matter because the other the max is going to be at least one. Yeah, it says the precondition is max dogs is uh, more than zero, so at least one. And also, where was it? The num num available dogs always greater than zero. Yeah, so either way, result it doesn't matter what you start result at, but you should. I like always doing it. I always like returning result at the end. Well, I do it at the beginning, but it's at the bottom of my method. Okay, so now I want to be able to access the number of available dogs. So where is number of available dogs? That's not in Dog Walker at all. That's in the Dog Walk Company, I think. Is that in the code for the Dog Walk Company? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have to get the number of dogs um, available. So that's going to be int dogs available equals and it's going to be the instance variable company that's one th good thing about using a blue book is you can copy stuff dot and what's the num available dogs let's see can I, can I copy from there yep so how many dogs are available that hour so I'll get the number of available dogs and then I'll do my if statements so if um, what did it say? It said... As long as the available number of dogs is not greater than the maximum number of dogs. Okay, so if dogs available is bigger than the max dogs, then my result is the max. Else my result is the number of dogs available. So it'll not it'll be the max if it's more than enough or if there's only three. Yeah, if three is not greater than four, yeah, it'll be result equals, I want to write the equals, that three in my scenario. Okay, so I got the walk dogs. I got the result of how many dogs in a walk. So it'll be the smaller one. So if it's dogs available is bigger, I'll get the smaller one. Otherwise, um, dogs available is smaller and I'll get that one. Okay, so now I need to, it says update dogs has provided because I need to update the dogs. So how does that work, update dogs? As part of the, not the dog walker class, the dog walk company class, I just say update dogs, hour, and the number of dogs walked. Okay, so again, it's a company, is not in here anywhere, dog walker. So I have to say company dot um, update dogs. I'll just copy that again, paste it, V. And it's given the hour. I don't have H. Oh, I almost messed up this. My my parameter is hour, not H. So I have to put hour in here and hour in here for my first parameter. And then number of dogs walked. That's the result. Yeah, the number of dogs were walking. This one walker is walking is the result, then a return result. And that should be it. So uh, in my first video, I forgot the company dot for these two helper methods. So again, set up your result. Um, get the number of available dogs from the company. Um, if that's too big, I can only uh, walk the number of dogs that I can, so the max, if I was a person, I say. Otherwise, I walk all the dogs available. If it's two or three um, that are available, I walk those instead of four, because you can't walk four if there's only three available. And then I update the company's dogs, saying, okay, this hour, hour 7 a.m. or whatever, I'm walking those three dogs, or however many it is. Then you always want a return result if there's not a void here. Okay, that's it for FRQ 2025 AP Computer Science A number 1A. Have a good day.